Hello my dear students I hope so you all are fine so today in science let us learn a new lesson called as food for all so let us see how this food is grown and how we do we get this food okay so let us you know when we are eating food we are eating different types of fruits vegetables and even grains right so uh let us see uh but are you aware that uh, these all these fruits or vegetables or grain are they available throughout the year no my dear students they are available in different seasons okay so now let us see during the winter or during the diwali season what do we get or oh, which type of fruits or grains and which type of uh, fruits we are uh, getting vegetables we are getting okay so during the diwali season we get you know uh, vegetables uh, like you know chakwat chakwat sorry chakwat or green peas and fruits like oranges or figs and grains like jowar bajra or also called as millet fine and in the summer season do you know what fruits you get or what uh, what type of fruits you get i'm sure you are very uh, you know about it your favorite fruits called as mangoes and jackfruit right and and they very delicious yes you when you go to your uncle's or auntie's place or maybe your granny's place you all eat uh, mangoes and jackfruit during the summer season right so remember dear students you get mangoes and jackfruit during the summer season right now you know what do we eat during our daily meal yes we eat different types of roots or maybe stems and leaves okay fruity vegetables as well as uh some of the seeds now what are these roots uh, uh okay roots do we eat roots yes my dear students we eat roots like for example carrot you are aware that you eat carrot okay radish or beetroot whereas the stems we eat like onion potato or yam now do you know what is yam or have you heard about it before yes my dear students yams are nothing but the stored food which you get or stored um uh, vegetables which you get inside the soil like for example a uh, sweet potato is called as yam then even you can call elephant's foot elephant's foot is nothing but a suran you might have uh, you know eaten your mother must have prepared sometimes suran chi bhaji right that is all these types of um fruits or vegetable which you get inside the um uh, soil they are called as yam but they though they are uh, you know inside the soil they are all they are called as stems fine then leaves you might have eaten like the fenugreek or maybe methi chi bhaji right and spinach called as palak chi bhaji then there are vegetables which are also called as fruits Okay, you might be thinking, what are these fruity vegetables? Right, fruity vegetables are nothing but your tomato, brinjal, lady's finger. These are also called as fruity vegetable. Then we eat seeds and uh, uh, like pulses or maybe uh, your uh, pulses or oil seeds. Now, pulses means what type of pulses? Now, you might have heard about moong seeds, right? Then you might have uh, heard about. Uh, uh, other types of uh, pulses moong chana okay then savuri all these are called as pulses now which are oil seeds you get sunflower oil correct so the oh, seeds which you get from sunflower is called as oil seed then you get groundnut so it is all these are called as oil seeds fine so in order to obtain food from plants okay we need to grow uh, the crops in the fields and plant fruit trees in the orchards now what are these orchards orchards means you might have heard about kechi bag then you might have heard about uh, ambachi bag kazu chi bag all these are called as fruit orchards so in order to obtain food from different plants we have to either grow them in the field or maybe in the uh, fruits in the fruit orchards so now let us know more about their cultivation okay 
let us know about their cultivation how they are cultivated or how they are grown okay now before that a small introduction about now uh, what type of crops are grown okay so about 60% of the total land which is present on the earth is uh, you know uh, in our country is meant or used for agriculture and there are two main types of um, uh, you know um, seasons in our country they are nothing but kharif and the rabi seasons so the, the season from june to october is also called as the kharif season whereas uh, okay so in this season what type of crops are grown or uh, how they are grown okay so in this season what happens is that so uh, the crops are watered mainly by the rain in this case so you might be aware of the paddy field or maybe the rice crop which is mostly grown during the uh, uh, kharif season or there are some other crops also called as bajra okay jowar all these are grown during the kharif seasons okay so you can see over here so which are the crops which are grown here rice bajra and jowar are grown during the kharif season whereas the season from october to march is also called as rabi season okay so what type of uh, crops are grown here is nothing but the uh, you know they are getting how uh, this rabi season is getting water okay so uh, you know that after uh, the september october comes and up to september month you will find that there will be rainy season the continuous rainy season will be there fine and so this after this what happens is that water gets soaked inside the soil okay so the crops are getting either this water or maybe retreating monsoon means the monsoon which is going or the rainy season which is going so that water these crops are getting or maybe you know during this uh, time uh, there will be mostly dew okay uh, winter season uh, so there will be dew so all these plants are getting water from these sources now what are the crops which are grown during the rabi season so mostly wheat is grown then jowar bengal gram and then some of the uh, fruits like grapes are grown and even oranges are grown during the rabi season so these are the two season so along with these two season that is kharif season and the rabi season kharif season is you have learned now that it is from june to october and from october to march is rabi season whereas now the two months are remaining that is april and may month so this april and uh, may month which are there or whatever crops are grown during this season these are called as the summer crops so during summer uh, what type of crops are grown so the crops uh, such as mangoes and jackfruit okay uh, are mostly grown during the uh, summer uh, crop season fine so this is regarding the <coughs> uh, uh, the agricultural uh, work or the agricultural season fine in order to grow crops in the field a farmer has to perform various task or various practices in sequence so as you can see in this picture over here a farmer has to first plow the field then it, there is a tilling practices going on that means the you know uh, once the plowing is done the soil has to be arranged properly after the soil is arranged properly okay the seeds will be sown once the seeds are sown okay the uh, watering is very important the uh, crop requires lot of water for its growth not only water like how we require water to drink and food to eat even plants require water as well as food now what is that food food is nothing but the either the fertilizer or the manure and sometimes even the plants can withdraw the nutrients from the soil so you have already learned in the previous chapter i have already told you how they are deriving nutrient from the soil okay so from the soil also get the nutrients they get it in the form of a fertilizer or maybe manure fine finally once the crop is you know growing it has to be sprayed with some of the insecticides or maybe pesticide so as to protect the crop and finally the crop will be ready for harvesting so all these practices are carried out by the 
farmer so as to get a good yield yield is nothing but a good utpanna utpanna okay so they should get good utpanna and so he has to carry out all these practices okay so now let us learn about all these practices in you know little more detail so man gets his food from the cereals like rice or wheat jowar and plants which gives us uh, you know uh, pulses or maybe oil seeds vegetables and fruits all these are you know uh, derived by man okay all these are required for his daily meal and so for this man has to first till the land every farmer feels that the crop okay crop in his uh, field, uh, field has to grow well okay and so for that he requires to do a lot of hard work for this and a good harvest only will give him a good income right so in order to get good harvest so there are some things required uh, for the crop to give a good yield a good utpanna okay like a land should be fertile land now what is that fertile land a land which is rich in nutrients or which is rich in the, its own food okay so that type of land is required so that land is called as a fertile land then not only a fertile land but the seeds which a farmer uses also should be of the good quality then the third thing that is nothing but the use of fertilizers or maybe manures and finally the availability of water so all these are the requirements for the good uh, field fine so uh, it is uh, necessary to carry out uh, the task of tilling the land so you can see how the tilling of land is done so crops in the field also needs to be protected okay because you have seen uh, you might be aware that the uh, farmer must be spraying or you must have seen any sometimes any farmer is you know uh, spraying on the crop so what is this it is nothing but it is try the farmer is trying to protect the crop plants by spraying some of the pesticide so that whatever uh, you know insects are growing okay or some germs are growing that has to be killed otherwise the crop will get wasted and finally the grains must be stored once they are harvested they must be stored safely in the storehouses or warehouses so all these processes are very important to improve the yield of the crop so you can see over here the different types of processes starting with the tilling of the land then use of the good quality seeds then even use of fertilizers protection of the crops even irrigation practices irrigation is nothing but a uh, timely supply of the water then uh, after the crop has grown harvesting is required and finally storage of the grains all these practices are carried out by a farmer okay so you know that a uh, population of our country is increasing okay day by day but still the needs of all the people are met okay how is this happening so this has become possible only because of some of the application of uh, modern uh, improved methods of agriculture like for example in the traditional method when uh, Uh, the farmer used to use uh, do plowing as well as tilling of the land using his ox right so this was a traditional method even a mot or a huge leather bags used to uh, was driven with the help of ox were done with the help of ox okay so you can see how the uh, farmer used to uh, use this traditional method of pulling the water from the well it is also called as a mot system or a pulley system wherein the ox used to drive this uh, mot and that time the water in the uh, filled in the leather bags used to fall down in the channels and these channels uh, used to go into the field so this was a traditional method of giving the water to the plant okay then even the traditional methods uh, task like harvesting and threshing was done by either the farmers or maybe its family members or with the help of bullocks but nowadays farmers are making use of machines to carry out all these processes fine 
so all these processes are very important uh, for growing the crops uh, and to get a better yield or a good utpanna fine and for this farmer has to use the modern methods uh, for getting the good yield fine so we will proceed with the next part of the lesson uh, in that we go we are going to discuss about how a farmer uses this modern methods by use of improved seeds or modern methods of irrigation all this in the next video till then my dear students bye and thank you